Okay, hello third grade. So I'm going to show you how to find the perimeter by counting unit squares. So first we're going to go over what the perimeter is. The perimeter is the distance around the edge of a shape. That's around the edge. The area is when we look inside the shape. Right now we're dealing with perimeter. So I have three examples here. And we're going to find the perimeter. So I'm going to show you how to count unit squares and find the perimeter. So the first one, we have a, we have a, um, a shape with four different parts. And we're going to count. So I'm going to start right here on the edge. And I, I like to draw a dot so I know where I start and where I end. So I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So my perimeter of this shape would be ten. Now I don't just say ten. When we go around, we call these units. So it's going to be ten units. My next shape. Now I have a shape with sixteen different parts. So. 16 separate parts. So I'm going to find again the perimeter, which is the distance around the edge of the shape. So I'm going to start here in the corner, draw my dot so I know where I am. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then 16. So now we have 16, 16 what? 16 units. So I'm counting the perimeter. It's easier when you start at a point and then finish and count because we can actually count each different square. And then this one. Now sometimes different shapes, like this shape is different from this shape, but you're going to find out it has the same units. So let me see if I start here and I count. We have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this one has ten units as well, and it's the same as this one. So two different shapes can have the same perimeter even though they look different. So that's our lesson on finding perimeter, which again is the distance around the edge of a shape. So I taught you how to count and find your distance and find perimeter. Remember to always start at a point and it's easier if you mark it with a pen or a pencil.